Hi class, today our topic of discussion is section formula from class 10. Just have a recap what we studied in class 9. We know that in a plane, if you draw two number lines perpendicular to each other intersecting at zero, then that system is our coordinate plane or Cartesian plane where the horizontal number line is known as x-axis and the vertical number line is known as y-axis and any point in that plane suppose a is represented by an ordered pair in this case it's 2 comma 3 but the first one is your x coordinate coordinate isn't it that's known as abscissa also the second one is your y coordinate which is known as ordinate also am i clear and if you look carefully abscissa is nothing but perpendicular distance of the point from y axis isn't it two isn't it and ordinate is nothing but perpendicular distance of the point from x axis look over here this is 3 we know this fact now look at section formula suppose in a coordinate plane we take two point a x1 y1 we take b x2 y2 suppose and there's a point p x y that divides a b internally in the ratio m is to n then what will be the value of x and y just look carefully what we do we first of all drop a perpendicular from a on the x-axis from p on the x-axis and from b so suppose this is p q r no, don't take it p because we have already taken p suppose this is s okay now look carefully s q this distance is this is origin o q which is x minus o s which is x1 similarly q r look over here q r is o r which is x2 minus o q which is x am i clear now through a i draw a line parallel to x axis and through p also i'll draw a line parallel to x axis which means these two lines are also parallel to each other okay suppose i take this as suppose d and this as e this as f now look carefully p d when you talk about p d p d is p q that is y minus d q which is y1 similarly b f is nothing but b r which is y2 minus r f which is y now look carefully triangle a d p triangle a d p and triangle b p d triangle b p d this angle and this angle will be equal corresponding angle p a d is equal to angle b p f b p f corresponding you can say am i clear similarly if you see this angle and this angle are 90 degree because this line and this line are perpendicular which is angle p d a angle p d a is equal to angle b f p b f p is equal to 90 degree which means triangle a d p is similar to triangle b p d and if two triangles are similar 
द साइड अप प्रपोर्शनल विच मीन्स कैन आई राइट ए पी जो केयरफुली बाय बी पी और पी बी वॉट एवर इज इक्वल टू ए डी बाय पी एफ इज इक्वल टू पी डी बाय बी एफ नाउ जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज लुको वो ये केयरफुली ए पी ए पी इज नथिंग बट एम एम पी बी इज एन ए डी ए डी इज दिस एक्स माइनस एक्स वन एंड पी एफ पी एफ इज एक्स टू माइनस एक्स पी डी पी डी इज वाई माइनस वाई वन सिमिलरली बी एफ बी एफ इज वाई टू माइनस वाई वी गॉट अ रिलेशन Now solve these two first and try to make x the subject. Look over here. When I cross multiply these two, I'm talking about this and this. M x two minus x equals to n x minus x one, which means I can write m x two minus m x equals to n x minus n x one, which means m x two plus n x one equals to n x plus m x. Which means m x two plus n x one. If I take x common, m plus n, which means my x will be m x two plus n x one by m plus n, isn't it? Which means your x will be m x two plus n x one by m plus n. Got it? Similarly, when we equate these two, you know. That is m by n equals to y minus y one by y two minus y. We'll get what y equals to m y two plus n y one by m plus n. Will you solve it similarly? You know, y equals to m y two plus n y one by m plus n, and this is your section formula. Clear? Suppose we take an example. Suppose we take A, B, a line segment divided by P in the ratio three to two. A is six three. B is minus four five. Then what will be the coordinate of P by section formula? X equals to this is your m, n. This is x one, y one, x two, y two. So x will be m x two. That's three multiplied by minus four plus n x one. That's two multiplied by six. By m plus n, that's minus twelve plus twelve. That's zero by something is zero only. And y equals to m y two. That's three into five plus n y one. That's two into three five three plus two. That's fifteen plus six. If you see by five, that's twenty one by five. So the coordinate of p is zero comma twenty one by five. Am I clear? Now let us see two application of section formula. Suppose I take line segment AB and P is midpoint. P is the midpoint, which means the ratio is one is to one. This is x one, y one. This is x y. This is x two, y two. So instead of m and n, I'll put one. Okay, because P is the midpoint. So what will be x? One into x two plus one into x one by one plus one. That's two. Similarly, y will be what? Y two plus y one by two. Am I clear? So the coordinate of the midpoint of a line segment is x equals to x one plus x two by two and y equals to y one plus y two by two. Now let us see one of the Very important application of section formula: How to get the centroid of a triangle, the coordinate of centroid, if the coordinate of the vertices are known. Look over here, Kev. First of all, what is centroid? The point of intersection of medians, and we know the median divides the side into two equal half. Which means, suppose if C M is the median, A P is the median, 
and B Q is the median and the point of intersection is G whose coordinate is X comma Y. So how will you get X comma Y? First of all M is the midpoint of AB okay which means the coordinate of M will be X1 plus X2 by 2 we have just done it and Y1 plus Y2 by 2. Now CM is your median we know the fact this is known that CG is to GM is 2 is to 1 this ratio is 2 is to 1 how it came 2 is to 1 I'll make a separate video to show that okay now look carefully if you look at CM if I can draw C is your X3 Y3 M is your X1 plus X2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 and the centroid g is x comma y the ratio is 2 is to 1 then your x will be see m into this coordinate which is twice of x1 plus x2 by 2 plus n into this coordinate which is this by 2 plus 1 that's 3 so this and this cancels out so this becomes y1 uh, sorry this becomes x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 done similarly if you calculate y it will be twice of y1 plus y2 by 2 plus 1 time y3 by 2 plus 1 that's 3 which is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 so the coordinate of the centroid will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 am i clear keep it till here in the next video we'll see sums based on these okay till then take care